Hi guys, in my previous video, we saw how to set up agent workspace to accept chat from virtual agent. In this video, we will see how to customize the lists which are present out of the box or, or how can we add new lists. And also we will see how can service desk agents add their own personal lists so that they are not visible to any other service desk user or admin. For that, first of all, we will open the agent workspace and we are logged in as an admin. I'll click on the top right hand corner and I will go to configure workspace. You can see here my current application is selected as agent workspace. So this particular record is present in agent workspace so if you have to update or add anything you have to switch to this particular application and then when i come down i can see workspace list categories and here there are many out of the box categories like cases customer interactions knowledge etc so you can see these here cases customer interactions and so on what we can do is we can add new list categories or update any existing categories according to the requirements which the service desk agents will give you. So for example, we'll create a new one which is not present here for the problem records. I'll add problem and maybe I'll set the order as 10 so it appears on the top and I will save this. Okay, a new problem category has been added. Now we will add a new workspace list which will appear un under this category. I'll click on new and I'll add some categories. I can add maybe problems assigned to me and I'll select the table as problem. And you see some columns appear automatically, we will keep them as it is. Actually, you can go and uh, configure the columns which you want to see. And then I'll give the order as 10 and I'll submit it. So all the problems will appear here. What we, we can do is we will add another list. Okay, I'll click new. And maybe I can create problems assigned to my team. Okay, I will select the same table problem. I will add another condition assignment group. And I will choose this dynamic and one of my groups. And I will label it as the order and I will submit it so there should be two uh, lists coming up here when we go to our agent workspace okay, I'll just refresh it when we go back to the agent workspace we can see a new category called problem and two lists under that and when I click on this it will show me what are the problems assigned to me assigned to me and also i can see the problems that are assigned to my team okay so there is none right now okay uh, to the current system admins group okay i will log in as david lu here and i will go to agent workspace And what I will do now is add some personalized lists which are visible only to David Lu. So as soon as he logs in and he goes to my list, he should be able to see his own customized personal lists. Okay, so for that you have to go to lists, then go to my lists, and there is a button under this which has been placed very cleverly. I'll say new new list. And similarly, I can write 
maybe uh, problems and I will say table as problem So let us do this. We will uh, name something else yeah, to differentiate it. Problems. I have to work, and I will save this. So this particular list will be only visible to David Lou and nobody else. Okay. You can see here this particular list is available only to him. If we go back to system admins account and let's try refreshing it the list should not be visible to system admin okay and you can see the list is not available to system admin so this is how we set up the lists in service now agent workspace so let me know in comments if you have any questions or suggestions thank you for watching the video have a great day